Well, good morning to you. You know, yesterday I was looking at a live broadcast by a colleague of mine, another coach. Um, and probably what I saw there, you will see here. Uh, I think it just happens with live broadcasts. I was really interested in the opening few seconds. She was trying to sort out the technology and she looked at the camera and smiled and then realized maybe something wasn't working. She looked at the technology and she smiled again. And there was the most wonderful sense of energy at the moment that she chose to connect. Not a, not a fake energy, not a sort of a, uh, hey, look at me. It was just a beautiful energy, the energy of connection. Made me realize so strongly how important connection is. How much energy and life is liberated when we connect. Of course, we connect with each other, yes. But also, when you connect with your dog or your cat or outside the window right now, there are swallows sitting on the line. I connect with them or a tree or the sound of the wind or standing on the beach. I discover myself in my connection with that which I'm not, that which is outside of me. And when I discover that connection, huge energy of possibility is released. Literally the life force. Now you can't connect with another unless you are also connected with yourself. I can't go and hug a tree if I am self-conscious that someone will see me hug a tree and think that I'm a prat. I can't connect authentically with somebody if I am self-conscious and full of self-criticism and doubt. The ability to connect out there with everything human and non-human, animate and non-animate, begins with the ability to connect in here. However, sometimes we have to get out of our heads, and one of the best ways of getting out of our heads is to connect, to liberate the energy. So today, reach out, connect with someone, connect with a tree, connect with a dog, connect with a horse, connect with a bird, connect with a piece of music, only connect. Tomorrow, Sunday the 24th, I'm running a online workshop, three quick ways to calm your mind and focus. And during it, I will introduce three quick ways to calm your mind and focus. Obvious, huh? If you're interested and there are a few places left, connect with me now and I'll send you a link to book your place. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.